want to give you a quick little tour of my fish tanks. I got a five gallon and also a 10 gallon as well as a 20 gallon pond. I'll get a little bit of detail on every single one of them. Um, I want to say what's up. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let's check it out. We'll start off with my five gallon here right now. I have one angel fish. It's like a white angel fish. It's a nice little setup. Uh, I'm kind of using this as like a little quarantine tank so far. And then from there, I'm going to move them into this tank right here. But I'll get back to that later. So right now I got one angel fish and I got four ember tetras and five dwarf red platys. You can see that's the red platys right there. And the tetras are these right here. And this theme I was kind of going for like a little beach with a little sand right here. I just added that recently. It goes off into like a nice blue aquatic like ocean with a little cave and a no fishing sign right here. 10 gallon tank. This is very new. I had this for about, I would say maybe a month and a half already. This is my planted tank. Sorry about the lighting in the back. Kind of scaped it out. Got these plants at my local pet store. They always think that they're going to get fed. <laughs> All the time. But anyways, so angelfish can be very aggressive, but I think it would be very beautiful to have this angelfish with the white angelfish on this. I also got three black tetras and I have two neon tetras. They just kind of mind their own business. It's very nice. Hope So hopefully like this tank will grow, catch on and uh, look really nice. In the back I got pearl weed. These actually grow like crazy. I don't have any CO2 in this tank. Um, if I did, it would see like some significant growth, but at the moment it's gonna grow very naturally. This one actually in the back, I don't know what this is called, but this branch right here, that wasn't there when I bought it. So this is actually growing. But anyways, on to the next fish tank or the pond, I would say. This tank, this was a big project of mine. I built my own filtration into it. But anyways, let me just show y'all, you'll, you'll see. All right, so walking out, this is my balcony. Very nice, got some plants, wind chime right there. Nice little hummingbird here, there. And some plants, I'm planting some peppers right now, as you can see. And here is some petunias. So here is my pond, you can see. This is the filter I was talking about that I built. It has a biological and a mechanical filtration that's inside there. Very, very simple to build. It just kind of came all together and it works really, really well. Fish are happy, as you can see. Right now I got two black mollies. I think I have five minnows, one and one goldfish, and one little guppy. There's a little guppy right there. Um, that's one of the black mollies. It's one of the big minnows. That's a huge minnow. Uh, that's the goldfish right there. His name is Steve. The Chinese algae that you can kind of see him way back there. He just kind of helps. Oh, he left. This hornwort that's inside this base is beautiful. It's a nice little aesthetic. It actually has a really good fundamental property. You can see it creates oxygen. Look at that, those bubbles. Of course, I'm gonna have to take out that oxygen whenever it gets lower because it's lowering the water level in the vase, but that's no problem. It works out whenever I do water changes. This is the bamboo that I got here. And this is my pond. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my fish tanks and my pond. In the future, I will be able to get more fish tanks and just kind of keep upgrading and just kind of keep going along with this hobby because I really, really enjoy it. Learning a lot and peace. Post up hard with a basket, battle with the clashing, leave them in the casket. I'm no ASAP, no killer with the fashion. I'm working with the magic, Johnson, yeah. Bronson, action. I'm here to help influence the fish tank hobby.